So a lot of people ask how rich you have to be to set up a trust. I think it's not a question of um, how rich or what assets, but also your situation. If you have minor children, you may want to consider it even at low amounts. Having said that, obviously, if most of your money is eaten up in costs, that doesn't make sense. So let's put it in terms of costs. In India, a trust could be set up between uh, 50,000 rupees and say a lakh, say a lakh. So counting 1% as a guide, you could consider setting up if you have assets of say a crore or so. Uh, you might want to do the same calculation in other markets. Another question I get is what about the age of children? If you have multiple children and if uh, there's a big gap between them, so one is very young and one is closer to becoming an adult, how would you set them up? Would you set up multiple ones or one that caters to both of them or multiples of them? Um, it really depends. One obviously would be lower cost, but there could be unforeseen issues that you haven't thought of. So if you predefine and say 50-50, but then something happens to the younger child uh, before they get to adulthood, um, that might not be in line with your wishes. What if siblings don't get along and don't share fairly, equitably? So maybe setting up multiple ones in this situation could be a way to go. But again, keeping costs in mind, of course. Stuff we hope you understand. Everything I've said in this video is educational, not advice. All financial securities, including mutual funds, are subject to market risks. If you don't know what that is or are still scared of it, watch all my videos again.